factory has had a huge impact on residents. The Mumias that was once vibrant is now a ghost town, with a majority of people who relied on the company to earn a living left helpless. Since the giant miller found itself in financial doldrums, tens of its former employees have died largely because of depression and stress. Related illnesses are leaving behind widows who are unable to fend for themselves. Our reporter, Violet Auma, caught up with the widows, and as she now reports, a majority have been forced to do menial jobs to make ends meet. I am Linetia Alachu, I am Nimuke, I Robert Alachu, I am a Mumias Sugar Company. Uh, wakati mzee alikuwa anafanya kazi kule Mias. Uh, maisha ilikuwa sio magumu sana. Pain and sorrow better explains the mood here. Accepting that her husband Robert Alacho is no more is a bitter pill she has to swallow. Kidogo kinye tulikuwa nacho pia tukao tukitumia tu kwa magonjwa. Kwa ajili ya ukosefu wa fedha uh, mzee akatuacha. Her husband's grave at Mungore village, Bumula sub-county in Bungoma county is still fresh. Akaniambia, atue kama usijana wangu ni pikie ugali ni kuna kuja kukula. And I thought he's coming back to eat. Okay, that is how everything changed. And uh, maisha saini ngumu kwa sababu staying without dad. The later Lachu was a former employee of Momia's sugar company, having served in the company since 2013. And every time ungepata akirudi kutoka Momia's, lazima akikisha amebeba kitu kama box, yenye hana rudi na yunyumbani. Sasa tulukuanga tunaishi pale chini, tukimuona na uko ivo, ile mbio tutatoka mbio, kwa sababu tunajua dad at, anarudi, amebeba kitu at least. He used to work, lakina wako wanalipu wa hizo pesa. Uh, na tulikuwa na matumaini ya kuwa siku moja watakuja kufanya nini kualipa lakini mm, kafla binifu mashini ikafungwa Lynette says all was well until trouble crept in the giant sugar miller she says the collapse of the miller dealt a major blow to the family since her husband was the sole breadwinner uh, ilibidi hata watoto tuwatoe boarding schools wakuje katika shule za kawaida za nyumbani unajua mtu ya life ya boarding Kurudi yuko and it is like ni mbali kiasi na ninakuwa natembea peke yangu going at five. Things go out of hand and they had to relocate back to the village after her husband's health deteriorated. Nilibidi tena tukubali. You are at ways control situation. She said they spent literally everything to save his life but in vain. He died, leaving them with a huge hospital bill that has not been cleared to date. Ilibidi tuka tukatafuta mtu tukauza hiyo uh, around 1 acre ya miwa yenye tulikuwa mzee alikuwa akipanda hiyo miwa akiprepare for the fees ya watoto tulikuwa na kangombe ka grade tukatoa tukashughulikia kwa magonjwa yote hata sasa hizo kiangalia kwa hiyo boma uwezi wana kuku she says her husband's death has left behind a scar and a void that nobody can fill her life has become unbearable his death aggravated the situation her three children forced to quit school due to lack of fees Maisha bado ni magumu. Firstborn ako college Matili Technical Training Institute aja report bado kwa ajili ya, uh, ya ya feather. His son Peter Alacho who had just joined college is back home together with his sister whose dream of becoming a teacher may never be realized because of the financial struggles. Sija join college bado because of school fees. Babangu venye alitoka mia so ikabidi nimaachia he's my elder brother. So we can be in memory on our face at least yeah join. They have now resorted to do menial jobs to put food on the table, taking one day at a time. Haiku hustle ni kulemia tu watu na kuuza kuni, hiyo ndio kazi yenyewe iko tujua hakuna kazi nyingine. Eh na sasa hivi pengine kibari kipatikana sasa ya kuvuna mahindi vile na karudia. Itabidi tu tuingie kwa hizo ndio ndio tupate sasa chakula. Mimi na ndugu yangu tukaamua acha tujengee mama nyumba. Ni mabati tulichukua tu ya nyumba ya huko chini tukaekelea. And right now ni sisi wenyewe tu ndugu yangu anatengeneza udongo, ananiambia kuja uweke ndani. We took a tour of Momia's sugar company housing units at Adson Estate that once housed hundreds of its employees. It's dead silent here. Some houses seem abandoned. 
We meet a 45-year-old Jacqueline Okaka in one of the units. She is a widow who lives in this one-bedroom unit with her four children. Wao wakubwa wa mbele wametoka wengine wameenda kutafuta vibarua huko nje. Because kuna wengine hata wakomaliza college kabidi waka drop out kwa sababu lack of fees. Two of them are boys who dropped out of college due to lack of fees. One board of fees. Because I bid it after kibaru afanye. Uh, anafanya tu kwa anasaidia mama tu kusaidia kazi ya nyumba. At least na za sustain pia kidogo kwa nyumba. Her husband was an employee of Momia's Sugar Company for 27 years before his untimely death in 2017. Well, pressure ilikuja kakuwa juu. Na alikuwa peke yake kwa nyumba. Sasa nije aliamka to asubuhi akafungua mlango akafungulia nilikuwa na kuku kiasi hapo. Sasa akafungulia kuku kurudi kanyumba ndio vile alibaki vas. She tells me that her life dramatically took a turn after her husband's death. Ina ta token unashindwa unakaa kwa giza. Nafika mahali unatumia hata kuni. Life has just changed totally. Hata watoto they don't know what to do now hata mtoto mwenye anaenda class 8 sijui itakuwa aje sasa wakaamua aweke kila nyumba token sasa inafika mahali hata hiyo token hauwezi afford kuilipa sasa inabidi unakaa kwa giza tas kile utapata pesa ndio ulipe but initially kampuni ndio ilikuwa na tunaketa for the electricity Mm, hata maji sasa zingine unapata maji pia inapotea kuna mtaro wengine anapitia maji hapo ndio watu tunatumia hiyo maji This is the only place she calls home together with her children She says her husband's plans to purchase a parcel of land and put a home never materialize So hata nikienda naenda kuingia wapi Sasa hata nikikaa hapa naona nyumba inanisaidia mm. eh hey. Lynette and Jacqueline are among many widows left with the enormous responsibility of fending for their families. They have to toil to put food on the table. Pata mtu anatafuta kibarua fulie mtu nje ndio apate vile watoto wanakula. Na kama ni wanaume wengine wapata wameingia kwa boda boda. Hivyo. That is the, to get a way of surviving the children. The company's legal officer Patrick Mtuli has however expressed hope of revival of the once a vibrant sugar industry saying that this will improve the living standards and rejuvenate the once a vibrant Mumia's economy. The receiver told the Senate committee that uh, they had not yet settled on any investor. The process was still ongoing. The process does not take one day. It involves the banks, it involves the central bank. If it is a foreign company, it involves the central bank of that particular company. So when the bank is doing this due diligence, it is only just and fair that they should be given that opportunity in order to come up with the best to help the company and all the stakeholders. We should not politic about the revival of mumias he says the receiver manager should be allowed to roll out his turnaround strategy to revive the ailing miller noting that this will address the plight of not only employees but also farmers and the country at large by offering employment and economy wise it is under receivership our pilot here is the receiver manager the receiver is in a better position after doing his assessment to tell what is best for the company what is best for the stakeholders and for stakeholders here we are talking about farmers we are talking about staff we are talking about secured creditors and we are talking about unsecured creditors you and me know that the banks are in a better position to evaluate any person who wants to be an investor The affected families now hope that one day the once giant miller will open its doors again and will be paid their husband's dues. Ukikaa na mtoto kwa nyumba na watoto wengine wako wanasoma. Unaona? Hiyo ndio inaniumiza kabisa. Sasa ndo si tunaomba kampuni kama inaweza tulipe hizo pesa zilibaki at least hata mimi niende shule kwa sababu sijaenda shule bado. Sasa ni ile nakaa hapa nikisema okay fine. Nikikuwa na hopes ni pesa inaweza kutoka 
to live with, what, what to pay, whatever they can give us. Violet Auma, TV 47, Kakamega. What an unfortunate